question. I wanted to record this video to give you an explanation of what the code does. Uh, I, I would like to give a more in-depth text explanation, but I'm actually limited to 10,000 characters. So I went way over that. So we have a video instead. So we have uh, a couple include statements at the top. We have IO streams, we can use C out. And then we also have strings, we can use STD strings, right? You know what, let's even add a comment here. STD, C out, and then we'll, oops, not an enter there. Not what I meant to hit. And then down here, we'll add STD string. Very nice. So we have our class item to purchase, and you'll notice that it's closed off by a curly brace with a semicolon at the end. And then we have our private member variables. We have our name, description, price, and quantity. Private means that they cannot be accessed outside of this class. So if you try to do, um, you know, if you create an instance of this and try to call that name, you can't actually do that because it's, it's marked as private. So that's why we have public methods, and that's also why we have accessors and mutators, which we'll get to. So first we have our default constructor. So with this, we are setting uh, the default value. So we should have none for the strings, and then we should have zero for the integers. And if you notice, I'm using something called this. This means for this instance of the object, and then as you'll see here in the comment, the arrow operator is the exact same as dereferencing a pointer and then using the dot operator. So then we have a parameterized constructor where we are passing parameters, or when you actually uh, call it, they're called arguments, and it is setting the member variables, so our name, description, price, and quantity, to whatever values we're passing in here. But whatever values passed in here have to match the types and they have to be in order. If you get them out of order, then it'll mess everything up. So it goes name, description, description, price, quantity. Then we have our accessors and mutators, also known as getters and setters. So what these do is when you try to set something, then by accessing or calling this public method, we are now changing the private member variable. This is instead of, I don't know why I have insert enabled, this is instead of directly modifying the member variable. This allows our code to be more encapsulated. So parts of our code that shouldn't have access to member variables don't have access, right? We keep everything properly encapsulated. And so same here with our accessor, we are just returning the name for this instance of the object. And we do that also for description, price, and quantity. So next we have our print item cost, which is just a standard uh, C out. You could also use printf if you want to do it C style. It doesn't really make a difference. Um, well, I guess it does make a difference. So we have our name, our quantity. So it'll match this format. So name, quantity, at price. And then you multiply the two at the end to give you the subtotal. And then we'll see our print item description which uh, just prints the item name and then the item description. Very straightforward. So let's actually test our code. Let's create a new instance. We'll say um, item to purchase, and we'll make that a pointer. So we create the item on the heap, ITP equals new item to purchase. And let's do one with the default constructor, and then let's do a second one ITP2 equals new item to purchase. But this time we're gonna use our parameterized constructor. So we're gonna pass a name, we're gonna call it, uh, so name is uh, C++ lesson. Then we'll add our next parameter, which is the description. So we'll say C++ lesson with Bradley then our price, which my rate is, at the, that's not a string, uh, 45 per hour. And then the quantity of one. And you'll notice Visual Studio is very nice and actually gives me these values right here at a semicolon at the end. So now for each of these, uh, let's call um, our two custom methods down at the bottom here. So we'll say ITP. Uh, and then we'll use the arrow oper operator because this is a pointer the print item cost we'll do itp print item description and then conveniently we can just copy paste these and then add a two in here 
So now we are calling these met public methods for each of these. So let's save, let's go up to the top and build. And then when the build is finished, we'll run it. Perfect, one build succeeded. That's what I like to see. So let's run it. So now you'll see we have our default values up at the top in the print format. And then down here for the second one, we have C++ lesson one at $45 is 45. Uh oh, we actually have a bug here. So there should be a dollar sign at the end of that. So let's fix that. So if we go to our print item cost, we should have a dollar sign. There we go, let's save it again. We'll rebuild, run again. And now we'll see it properly prints with a dollar sign. So I hope that answers your questions and I hope you learned a lot from this. Thank you and have a good day.